Okay, all right, good morning, guys. It's uh, day 16 of my uh, methadone detox. Uh, I'm, I'm struggling, guys, man. It's not so much I'm craving methadone, man. It's like just a depression, you know. And uh, I didn't, I still didn't sleep good last night. I mean, you can see, look at the bags under my eyes. Or is that just old wrinkle lay? <laughs> But I don't know. Um, it's definitely, uh, I'll be glad when it gets easier. But I'm strong. Man, I, I got it made up in my head. I'm not, I'm not going back to methadone. I'm not going to go to Suboxone. I'm not, I'm not going to anything, man. It's just, it's psychological warfare. And it's hard. I mean, I'm sorry I got on here. You know, my first weekend or week and a half, and you know, I was oh, making light of everything, guys. I'm sorry. I see what I, I understand now. Oh, I'm sorry. I I really apologize. But uh, I, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna get through this. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna turn around. And, and someone even uh, mentioned me taking Kratom, I don't, I don't want to do that either, you know what I mean, and I mean, I, and it's hard because I know it would be so easy to go find relief, but I don't, I don't want to substitute one thing for another, I want to be done with it, and I just, I don't know why, like, the, the depression's so bad, man, everything's going so good, you know, I don't know. It's hard, guys. It really is. No, I really am sorry for ones that are, because I know y'all. There's y'all guys. There's guys out there that have it a lot harder than me, and I, I'm. I feel for y'all. I really do. Like I feel in my heart for anybody. I don't care if you're if you're on crack, if you're on meth. It's all the same, y'all. Don't let anybody ever tell you that you're. You know, just because you're an addict, don't let them tell you that you're a nobody because you are somebody. Well, you know, we are still people. We are still humans. You know, uh, and, and don't let, don't ever let no one, especially someone that's never walked through our, you know, never walked in our shoes. Don't let them say, "Oh, you're just not strong enough." Bullshit. They don't know what they're talking about. And I promise you, uh, uh, you know. Someone tells me that crap right now. I promise you I'll break their jaw. That's where I'm at with it. Don't tell me I'm not strong enough. But right now I'm fighting something that's bigger than me. And you know I know I got God on my side. And I just I keep begging in my mind, just like please just get me through this. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be crying. But it's like the depression, man. It sucks. I'm gonna hurry up. And it's nine o'clock in the morning. I got. Uh, I'm working on another sewer line. At AT and T bored through another one, but uh, I got I got my guys. I got it all dug up and exposed, and I was like, I'm just gonna let them deal with it because I, I man, I just don't want to be like all emotional around them. You know, I'm trying to just I'm trying to stay strong, but oh man. And, I don't know if you watch my videos, Gabe, but thanks, man. You, you've been a real inspiration. Uh, it's good to see somebody that struggles, and you have such a positive attitude, man. Um, just thank you. And anybody else that commented on here, there's a few. Thank you, guys. I just, it's hard. I'm mean, I, like I said, it's all in God's hands, and I, I know God don't want me on this stuff, and He's gonna keep me from it. It's just the struggle is real. It really is. Right. All right. Enough about that. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get all all depressed and all emotional. It's it's tough. It's tough, and. uh I just I just think about my girls. I think about my girls and I think about my wife. I think about, you know, the people and you know, and I and I'm going to say this, I know who really matters in my life right now. 
and the sad part is they're not even related to me by blood but they are my I, they are my they are my people I love my wife's side of the family and I can tell you right now my side of the family has always had negative stuff to say and when I was on that methadone I listened you know and I love I love my mother-in-law and I love my father-in-law so much I love my brother-in-law like I more than a brother and I don't know what I would do without them guys uh, you know it was it was late late last night man I was feeling bad I didn't, I, and I, I knew my brother-in-law, we had a long day yesterday, so I didn't want to bother him, but I knew, I, so I went to my secondary, and that's my mother-in-law, and, and I was like, I'm just having a bad day, and she said, listen, a day of sobriety is not a bad day, you know, you, you may feel like it's, and, and that really, it meant a lot to me, I needed that, you know, yeah, so what, I'm having a bad day, but at least I'm sober, right? And my, my appetite, man, my, I don't, it's so weird with these paws, post-acute withdrawals, like, uh, I, I didn't really eat a whole lot yesterday, but, to, uh, uh, today, uh, this morning, I was able to eat me some breakfast and stuff, and my stomach, it, uh, thank God I was right by the, um, you know, every, pretty much everywhere we work, we have treatment plants, so I was able to run and use the restroom, but, I mean, I can deal with that, I'd rather deal with that than this freaking depression, and I am not gonna get on no damn antidepressants, I'm sorry, I, I know, I'm, I know, I know God's gonna rid me from that, too, I, and if you have to be on antidepressants, I'm not knocking that, I'm just saying, if, if it's, if it can be abused, and I don't know if antidepressants can be abused, but if it can, I, I, I will abuse it, because that's just who I am. I, I don't know how to do anything in moderation. And, hang on, guys. I had to get a drink. And I, I, um, I, bought, a, I bought a soda this morning, and I don't know. I was like, whatever. But I still drink a lot of water, guys. I drink lots and lots of water. So, and, and it's a Coke Zero. I don't know if that matters. Oh, sorry. Let me stretch. Last night, I didn't sleep. Not too bad. I just, man, it seems like, you know, you want to you, you get your best night. You, you, the best part of your sleep is right before you have to wake up. I don't, why, why does it do that? It's such a mind game, man. But guys, uh, I didn't mean to get on here and be all down and out. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, main thing is I'm still clean. Okay? I'm, I may be struggling, but I'm still clean. And I pro that's not going to change. Hell no, that's not going to change. So, I, I, I'm going to make a, a, a video to see and to update you guys and, and just... You know, like I guess I got a long day ahead of me. Every day's a long day. But I'm going to get through it. I'm going to get through it. You know, we can do this, guys. We can do this. I, I know it sucks. I know it's hard. You know, it's it's not fun. Not fun at all. But you know what? Just the amount of possibilities I have ahead of me. To me, it's more fun to see what them are going to be, you know, than go back to that crap. Because, man, it would be so easy to go score. So easy. Even with no money. You know, it's not hard. Y'all know how to do it. And when we're addicts, man, we got willpower, right? Yeah. And you know, we all ain't got no willpower. And look, guys. I mean, you got to have, you know, uh in your corner you want you want good spiritual people but you need someone in your corner that's that has went through what we've gone through you know and and that's kind of why i make these videos you know because uh i i want to have other people that are going through what i'm going through you know so anyway i'm sorry if this ain't the best video none of my videos are really but who cares <laughs> um I love you guys. Um, 
Sadie, Sammy, I love y'all so much. Y'all don't know how much inspiration y'all give me. But uh, listen, y'all stay safe. Y'all stay strong. Remember, above all, stay sober, guys. I love y'all. I'll check back with y'all later.